Hello guys, so I was asked, what are chains and how do they work? So it, it was kind of hard to actually write down, so I thought it would just be easier showing it to you guys. So first of all, if you look at my current team formation, you're going to see that on the top right of basically every player, there's a little happy face, evil face. I don't even know how you call that. So these are what you will see when you have a chain activated. So I actually do have a lot, and my true formation would actually even add this, giving even more of them. So these are what we call chains. Now, to know what chains a player has, you have to go in story mode, and you have to look at the things here. All you need to activate a chain is to have this player filling out the condition for it to activate. So some of them are going to be, for example, a friendship chain, uh, it will give you attack power and crit trade by 10% when placed on the same team. Meaning if they're on the opposing team, I will not get a bonus. I will only get out there on my team. Our rival chain, for example, will be on any of the two teams. And there's what we call a nemesis chain, who's only going to be on the opposing team. So you have to look here. This is a nemesis team only when placed on the opposing team. And each type of chain has a different bonus. There is a rule, though, that you can't have more than three chains active on the same player at once. If you have more than one player of, for example, a friendship chain, they will not stack. The same type of chain can only be used once, and any of the players is enough to activate it. So there's basically four of them. There's friendship, nemesis, affection, and rival. So again, like I'm saying, the chances you'll activate all four are usually very low, but activating three is not that hard. At least activating one per player is what I'm running in my team. The only one who doesn't have one is Metatron, and that's because she just has bad chains. So I'm just going to show you an example of how does one get a chain to while I'm at it. Because I like to farm Dimension Stones, and to do that, I need to complete chains, because when you complete all four, you get free Dimension Stones. So this is a random four-star uh, four player. I'm just doing his chains. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to do press start mission. And then all you got to do is put him on your team and put whoever he has a chain with on your team. Even if it's a nemesis chain, when you're creating them, putting them on your team is completely fine. So just going to show you what happens when you complete a chain. Again, to complete a chain, you will need every single player within the chain to have the option to start the mission. So you can't just start any random chain you feel like. Because if that was the case, I'd have much more chains on my team. So again, this I just did 1-1, one, one, and I'm using Strength Reduce to make it cost 1 Strength. This is one of the best ways uh, to complete your chains as fast as possible. And if you want, you can complete the chains at least of your team, and later on when you get the Strength Reduce, just massively complete every chain you can find for more dimension stones so here that was the 14th one from when you saw and now this is going to hit the 15th one so it's going to do a chain acquired mission completed and now if we go back to the um, the team formation we're going to see that the chain is actually active so this is going to give this uh, four star a little buff now it's a four star so it's not that great of a buff but it increased attack power and crit rate by 10%. I'm not going to be using it, but again, this was just for chain level. And when you complete all four chains of a player, they're going to give you some dimension stones. Plus, you have a decent chance of having chains activate when you're using them. A good way to farm chains is actually to make one tab in which you put players who you know that they have chains you could do, and then slowly stick them into your team while doing minion matches, because you usually know you're always going to win those. So I hope this helps people understand exactly how chains work. And again, if you have any questions, just write a comment in the description. I just thought a video would explain it much better than just me talking about it. And this is one of the reasons why Mono Thunder is very frustrating, because they have great chain links. Have a good day, guys.